Welcome to another exciting episode of On Enter Flash. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you something very useful, and that is Z sorting. Z sorting is the ability to sort your movie clips via their Z axis. If you don't know what your Z axis is, there's X, okay, you might know that one, there's Y, and the Z is basically back and forward. Instead of just up and down, left and right, now there's depth, there's dimension to this. And this dimension is how we sort our movie clips. So let's look at these movie clips that are all generated right now. This is normal for Flash to do this. So I have all these movies that are supposed to be close to the screen, but Flash doesn't care. It puts it in the back anyway, because what Flash cares about is when the movie clip was created. So the first movie clip is going to be at the back, and the last movie clip created is going to be in the front. So as you can see, this movie clip is really small, this box. So that means the z-axis is way back. But Flash is saying, well, this was created before any of these ones in the back. So somebody came up with this idea that we should have z-sorting. So they created an action script file or action script class to sort them. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. I'm going to recreate this project again. So I'm going to turn on the simple z-sorting. And now you see items that are up front come actually up front. So there's no, like this little item, even though it was created before or after this one, it still sorts correctly. So now we see the stacks stacking correctly. So we don't see any tiny items all the way in the front. All the tiny items need to be in the back. So we finally put them there. So let me show you how to create Z sorting. This is a great way to stack items up. Uh, the links will be available at my website, and I'll have a link to that in the information. But if you just want to pause and copy this uh, link and go ahead and do it. But once you get here, you want to click on the first file, which is simple zsort vo.as. And you want to go down to the uh, view raw file and right click on it and save link as. And you want to save it in the directory of the FLA you're creating. For me, it's asking me if I want to replace it because I already have it, but I'll just say yes to show you guys. So back again, I'm going to view the second item and right click and save item as in the same directory. Okay, now we're going to hurry back into Flash and do the editing to the file that we need to edit. So now we go to File, Open, and we want to open up the Z simple Z sorting both those files we just downloaded and once we open those files we want to remove the first line in there not the package part but the com dot the flash blog and we just want to remove that and we want to go to the other item and we want to do the same after we finishing after we finish uh, removing that just press save on both of them and now we can close it and now we're ready to create a new FLA so go to new flash file action script 3 and now we're going to save it in the same directory as those two classes. So save now, and I'm saving it in the same directory. Now we're ready to start coding, but before that, I just want to change a few little things. Like uh, I'm just going to change the background color to black, and I want to create a uh, some sort of object. So I'm just going to use the oval tool. This is my little ball, and I'm going to highlight that ball, press F8, and I'm going to convert this ball into a symbol, of course, and I'm going to call it ball. Registration point is in the center, and I'm going to export this for ActionScript, leaving the class name as ball. So that's all good to me. The reason why I'm doing this is because I want to access the uh, ball via ActionScript. So let's go into the ActionScript and start coding like we would never coded before. The first thing we want to do is create a container. We want to contain all the movie clips that we will be creating. So var con and I'm going to make that a sprite equal to new sprite the next item we I want to create is a timer so timer and data type it to timer equals to new timer and inside here we want to put the delay or the basically how many times they'll fire and I'm gonna put every 200 so that's 200 milliseconds so a thousand is one second and after that we want to put an event listener to the timer add event listener and that event listener is timer event dot 
timer. There we go. And I will call the function make. So let's create that make function. Okay. Make e event. Open and close parentheses. Now for what, what are we gonna make? We're, well, we're gonna make that ball. So v var variable bl, and we can data type that to a movie clip equals new ball. That is the name of the class. That's what I named my ball. Uh, the, there are a few things we want to do to it, and that's bl dot y is equal to math dot random multiplied by my stage width which is 400 the next we want to give it a random z which is equal to which is equal to math dot random and i will multiply it by the same 400 as before so maybe even bigger than that why not why not a thousand okay that looks good so now we have our ball being created. Now we want to add the ball to the container. So con.addChild bl. Uh, also, we want to add an event listener to ball, and I'm going to call that bl.addEventListener. And I'm going to event enter frame, and I'm going to call that function go. Why not? So there we go, we have everything pretty much going. And I want the ball to basically move forward um, along along the stage. So let's create that function go. So function go e event. So e dot current target. Current target is Okay, dot x plus equal to 5. So it'll be moving across the screen at a rate of 5. Now that's amazing. So now we have our ball. The only thing we need to do is add the container to the stage. So add child, con. Next, we need to start the timer. So timer dot start. So now the timer has start started and we basically have something going on let's so let's see what's it's going on all right we have everything pretty much doing what it's supposed to do except for the sorting as you can see it's, it looks nice but you can see that the smaller movie clips are um, you know showing up late oh, well not late but they're showing up um, on top of each other they should be below the big goofy looking balls you know but it's not working out like that so they're kind of randomly on above and below each other and we're gonna fix that with that class that we just imported so let's put that into the works so what the class is simple z sort so simple simple z a sorter sorter dot sort clips and you put your container inside of the parentheses so what's gonna happen now when we run this is that the simple z sorter dot sort clips We'll sort the clips um, according to their Z axis. So we have them randomly generating the Z. So let's try it out and see what it looks like. So we see the bigger movie clips are finally going in their right place. Now this isn't a real world application. This application is total nonsense. It looks pretty. It's total nonsense. If you're wondering why these are just popping up randomly, it's because the Z axis is further down. So the X, the y, the X is around here opposed to the bigger ones where the x is here so it's kind of a um it's, it's just basically how you're seeing it well anyway this is the application i hope you enjoyed it if you want to download the fla and anything it's available on my website so make sure you go to my website on enterflash.com where you can download the fla get the links to the uh sorter um action script class and that's that. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, and click on the donate button or click on an ad if you're poor. You know, we have a lot of poor people watching this stuff. It's free. So uh, to help on Enter Flash.